Hello everyone, welcome to part 147 of Laravel 9 series in which we are getting the multi vendor e commerce website. So, in this video, we are going to send the order status update email as well as the order status update SMS. In the last video, we have seen that we are able to send the order email, order placement email as well as the SMS. You can see that uh, uh, we are getting uh, these order placement email. So, every time when user uh, uh place the order he will get the email with the order confirmation complete order details will go in his email account but uh, we will also require to send the another email to the user every time when uh, the admin or vendor update the order status like uh, if the uh, admin updates the order status to shipped okay if the admin will update to shipped or the vendor will update the order item status to someone like pending in process or ship then we will also require to send the email to the customer so we are going to work on this thing okay uh, we will send the email as well as the sms to the customer every time when the status update whether it's for the complete order whether it's for the uh, item status okay so in both the cases we are going to send the email to the customer okay so let's start so we will open the order controller order controller here in admin and here uh, see there are two functions update order status and update order item status so we will uh, work first of all update order status okay every time when the complete order status will get update from here then we will send the email to the customer okay so right now uh, we are not managing the tracking order details uh, like if the if the uh, admin or vendor uh, wants to manually send his order to the customer like uh, if he will call the courier person and uh, and want to deliver the courier to the customer manually okay uh, we are not integrating any shipping partner right now but later on in the series we are going to integrate the shipping partner as well okay so right now we will uh, just do the basic things uh, so uh, here uh, what we are required to do here uh, after updating the status here two things we are going to do one is uh, to send the order uh, order item status update like send order status order status update email okay and also we will work for send order status update sms fine so first of all we are going to do order status update email and for that uh, one thing we require here we require to have the delivery details okay only then we can able to get uh, that otherwise uh, yeah we require the delivery details get delivery details and here we get it like this delivery details owner we are going to select here some uh, basic details like uh, name email okay mobile email and name okay and where id this condition same okay so uh, now uh, we are going to uh, send the email first of all so dollar email dollar delivery details and we have already set the email here it will come like this and message data message data will remain the same uh, okay uh, so we will uh, open the product uh, controller as well that will help us uh, for writing the email code we have already added there at the time of checkout so we can simply copy this complete and we'll make changes okay so here i'm going to do it like this 
so that uh, our time will get saved and now see we are going to see message email email this one that we have already got name name uh, we will uh, pick from the name delivery details uh, that array okay uh, see auth will not work here this is the admin part not the front so we will get the name from the delivery details array that uh, we are fetching from here okay so uh, order id order id we are getting this one so i'm going to replace this order id with this one like this okay so uh, now finally order details and order details uh, see uh, we are going to fetch the order details here as well uh, like uh, we are getting there and here also uh, we will fetch the order details from the order id okay order details order along with the order product details because we require there as well order products okay like this here id and here dollar data order id first two array fine and uh, we are sending and but here here we will mention like order status updater okay order status updater like this so now uh, here we are going to make the new email order underscore status uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, pick that order email that we have created the last time will uh, uh, rename it to will save as save as one more copy as order underscore status dot blade okay uh, and now we are going to make changes in this mail only see only the changes are required at the front part see this one will remain the same well, here only the changes are required here we will mention hello dollar name that is fine uh, here we are going to remove this line and we are going to replace it like uh, we're going to mention here your and uh, this one uh, your order number uh, your order okay i'm going to pick this one your order like this your order uh, status has been updated to okay your order status has been updated to and here we are going to mention that order status that we are sending here uh, we are sending uh, okay we are not sending but we need to send the order status that is uh, the main thing here okay that we need to send the order status order status we need to send that uh, uh, we are getting uh, from the admin okay this status okay so now it is fine order status now we are getting and this order status uh, we are going to send to the customer via email like this okay your order status has been updated to uh, this okay so uh, fine and now we are going to mention here your order details are as below okay uh, here see uh, status has been and in the next line we are going to mention your order details are as below okay so like this so only this change is required in which we are sending the order details once again along with the new order status whatever order status is updated we are going to send to the customer so now we can try this one okay let's see uh, and uh, uh, so we are going to update the status of the order uh, so we will try i'm going to uh, update the status to the ship and we'll click on update and some issue has come the mail script is required okay so the mail script is required here as well like we have added in the press controller here also we require that mail script i'm going to add at the top and now going to refresh and uh, some other issue is coming i'm going to 
uh, now try once again like click on shift and update and now see this time it is taking time i think the email is going and yes order set has been ordered successfully the email is gone i think it must come here so yes order status updated so the new mail has come your order one status has been updated to ship so it is working fine also the order details is coming here okay so it is coming fine so now uh, we are going to send the uh, sms as well here uh, like we are sending the email the sms script is very easy we need to call that sms function straight away like we are sending there uh, at the time of checkout so it is very easy now uh, just the thing is uh, we need to send uh, it like this i'm just going to copy this one and we'll paste here uh, we are we are sending the email now okay and here after this one i'm going to paste it uh, okay so i'm going to move this one like this and uh, like this okay so new sms we are going to send here uh, every time when the order uh, status will update we will send the sms to customer like dear customer your order uh, here status now the status will we are going to add your order status has been updated here also we will add the hash it will look perfect along with the order id your order uh, id status has been uh, has been updated here we will mention has been uh, here we are going to remove has been updated to then whatever the order status that will come here this one has been able to uh, placed placed with developers now it looks fine okay so this is the uh, see here not uh, mobile mobile number uh, like uh, we are get we will get from the delivery details not like this here mobile will come okay here we are getting you know mobile email and name and from here we will get the mobile of the customer okay and uh, messy this message we are going to send and this send sms function we are going to call and in which we are going to send the message as well as the mobile and uh, that will help us to send the sms to the customer okay so in the next thing is we are going to update the item status as well so there is nothing much we are required to do i am going to copy this both uh, along with the delivery details i am going to copy and we'll paste there and then uh, we are going to see that if that will work here or not okay at the time of item and here i'm going to paste like this okay so here i'm going to see like uh, first of all we need to get the delivery details get delivery details order select mobile email and name where id dollar data uh, order item id so so here uh, we require to fetch the id uh, so here uh, see we don't have the order id here okay we have the order item id okay from the order product so we need to fetch the order id uh, so uh, to fetch the order id uh, we will add here like <coughs> uh, get order id from the order product okay so that we will fetch it like this i'm going to use this one and here we will just select the order id order id like this so that uh, we will get the order id here okay so first and if we would use the two array then we can get the order id here i can just simply put it like this okay so now we will get the delivery details here and uh, we can send uh, 
now see one more thing here uh, order item status is will be there instead of uh, the this one order status order item status okay order status update order order item status or whatever order status updater so it is the same thing for the user so see same thing we are going to send and the sms also we're going to send but i'm going to disable the sms script to test the functionality for the email okay sms will not go as we don't have the sms package uh, so we are going to try with this one uh, with the uh, email in fact okay so now uh, i'm going to update the status of one of the uh, item like deliver click on update uh, so it is uh, showing us some issue order details i'm going to see order id uh, in line 115 we're going to see uh what is the issue exactly uh <coughs> because here uh we need to do it like this okay now it is fine so i'm going to refresh and uh, we're going to try from there only now i will try once again uh, though it is delivered i'm going to uh, update once again to deliver and this time undefined array somewhere else and order id okay so here also we required to have this get order id okay and uh, any other place now it seems to be fine okay so now uh, we will go back and we'll try once again refresh it like if we update to deliver and now this time we're going to see whether it is sending email i think it is sending email now yeah order items it has been over successfully now we're going to check here and uh, see we have received the new email and this time your order status has been updated to deliver okay so though one of the item status has been updated to deliver uh, and uh, so we can show here only that item whose status is delivered okay so like uh, this one is fine status has been updated to deliver uh, and along with that we can mention like uh, uh, below uh, below item below order item uh, yeah uh, or below order product has been delivered has been delivered that looks even better okay and for that thing if you want to do that thing then uh, we need to add the another condition we need to check that exactly which item has been delivered okay so that thing we can also do uh, so in this case you can simply add the sub query here you can scan the sub query and can match uh, with the uh, with this order item id okay so once you will uh, add the sub query and match with this order id okay uh, then you will get only one product that is uh, delivered or uh, whose status has been updated okay so uh, i think that uh, option that you can do at your end I am giving you the hint here you just write the sub query and in that sub query compare the order products uh, like this one is the order product compare with this ID this ID you are getting here uh, okay you can compare with this one and after this one uh, then you will get one of the record that you uh, that you have been updated okay so that record we are going to show uh, here uh, but don't don't make the change here we are going to have the new order item status new uh, blade file like the order underscore item underscore status and uh, that we are going to use here order item status in this case then the email will go fine okay so i hope that you can able to do this thing at your end and if you will find any trouble you can surely contact me uh, so now we can move forward with the other things other important things are still left and we are going to uh, do that uh, paypal payment gateway also uh, but few more things we are going to do first of all okay so that's all for now have a nice